Hi there, I'm Ian Goh. I'm a lecturer in Classics at Swansea University. I'm very excited because I have here some red mullet. So let's do another episode of The Food of Roman Verse. Hard on the heels of the last video's grey mullet, Mugulus in Latin, now we're looking at the red mullet, Mullus. Despite their similar English names, they come from different families. Red mullet was particularly prized in the late 1st century BC and ever larger specimens were sought. The Roman luxury lover Hortensius was one of several upper class Romans who farmed them in ponds, though he may not have eaten his, as he's described by Varro, as lavishing affection on them and the practice was not apparently ultra successful. Such gourmands were a target for critics. Horace mocks the trend by calling insane the person who buys a three pound example which nonetheless has to be cut up to be eaten. Juvenal, in the early 2nd century AD, starts his turbot poem which we saw in episode 3 by criticising a wealthy freedman, Crispinus, who was once an African fishmonger but has risen so far up the greasy pole that he can buy a six pound mullet and eat it all by himself. As you've just been seeing, I took some red mullet that I stuffed with oregano and fennel to a barbecue at my colleague's house. But now, here's a brilliant Sicilian preparation of the fish. I'm butterfly filleting the mullet around its backbone, and then I stuff it with a filling of toasted pistachios, parsley, sage, raisins, orange zest, and breadcrumbs before it goes in the oven. The result is called becca fico because the finished product is meant to resemble a fig eating bird of that name. This is apt because force fed songbirds were also a culinary item on Roman gourmet tables, as we know from Lucilius and others. They were the target of sumptuary laws which banned force feeding. And stuffed food should make you think, I hope, of the stuffed genre. That's Roman verse satire, a bit like a sausage. The work of Horace and Juvenal, and before them, Lucilius. Thanks to my neighbours at Swansea Fish for this lovely red mullet, and thanks so much to you for watching.